So we want to find the shear strain at A along the normal and tangential axis. So this will be equal to, so we want to find the change in angle. So if we somehow find this angle after the change, let's say this angle is theta dash, then we will be able to find the shear strain at point A along the N and tangential axis. So as we know that that change will be the initial angle is pi divided by 2 minus theta dash will give us the shear strain. So we can say that this will be minus theta dash. So this will give us the shear strain at point A along the normal and tangential axis. So if we use this triangle A dash D dash O triangle, if we use this triangle and if we apply ten theta divided by 2, so we can say tan of theta dash divided by 2, that will be equal to this perpendicular divided by this base. So this perpendicular is this 10 inch minus 0 0.3. So 10 inch minus 0 0.3. So we can say 10 minus 0 0.3 divided by this side, which will be 10 inch plus 0 0.2. So because the point A moves outwards, right? So we can say that will be 10 plus 0 0.2. And we can say that theta dash divided by 2 will be equal to 10 inverse of this. So we can say 10 inverse of 43.561 degrees. And from this we can say that theta dash will be twice of this angle. So we can say this answer multiplied by 2. This is equal to 87.121 degrees. So this is theta dash. And now since this is in radians and we cannot substitute this value directly into this equation we must convert this angle into radians so as we know that 2 pi radians is equal to 360 degrees theta dash equals to 1.521 degrees oh, sorry radians or we can say 1.5206 radians let's say now putting it into that equation so we will get gamma at a along the n and t is pi divided by 2 minus 1.5206 0 0.0502 radians